So this is our fourth year of doing the family and friends camp out. We were approached years ago to uh, to kind of join, um, you know, just really just the company wanted our money to to donate for you know just a, a cause to get kids camping and stuff like that. But uh, we figured this would be more a direct impact. This was a way for our company to really directly affect what we want to do. We really wanted uh, to know exactly where if we were going to give and, and give back where the proceeds were going. So we decided to do the camp out on our own. We started working with the PALS program two years ago. PALS has been great. Um, Ivan and Sue, they, they just, they're, they're so involved in these kids' lives. So the PALS program is an after-school program that puts children from at-risk neighborhoods in um, contact in a community setting with local police officers where we um, provide them mentorship and activities, um, hopefully under the, um, the uh, value that the kids are going to grow up respecting the law and um, enjoying community in a new way. And yeah, we serve anybody regardless of uh, where they come from, how much money they make or um, or what their needs are. We're a good place for, for parents to bring their, their kids and either um, just enjoy from our, like I said, our enrichment or our recreational activities. We also have a, a local partner in SOS Survival Products. Um, Jeff Edelstein's the owner and they're located in Van Nuys, California. Uh, they've been there for now almost 30 years. Um, they specialize in, in outdoor and survival equipment and they're a wonderful partner of ours. Jeff and his whole family bring up lunch the first day of the camp out, so, um, which is a huge help for us. A couple years ago, um, our, our second year doing this, we decided to move it up to Castaic Lake where uh, the Seastone Aquatic Center is located. Um, it seemed like a perfect fit for what we do at the Aquatic Center, which is number one, teach water safety and that kind of educational component, teach folks how to be safe out on the water, um, and often in an environment that this is their first time being exposed to it. We're also creating kind of lifelong hobbies and teaching them how to do those hobbies correctly. We're teaching how to canoe, kayak, stand up paddleboard, uh, even something as basic as how to wear a life jacket it's cool and safe to wear that life jacket. We're doing our first night hike. So far so good. Our uh, leader Chris took us all the way up to the top of the hill, giving all the kids instructions on stars and navigation. And uh, now we're hiking back down to camp so we can call it a night. This has been such an amazing opportunity. We would not be able to provide this to the kids in this way with this kind of just safety and professionalism and um, experience level with CSUN Aquatics and, and all the recreation that's provided here to be able to come out to Castaic and, and enjoy a, you know, a summer weekend, um, kind of take a vacation together, come back as um, a bigger team and a, and a better group of people. Um, yeah, we can't thank them enough for the opportunity to come back this a second time. Um, the kids look forward to it all year long, it was great.